There's also another issue that uh, is taking place today that's uh, definitely turning up the heat, at least on billionaires, and that's, that's Senator story. Bernie Sanders. He is now renewing his call for a crackdown on billionaires. This is what he tweeted last night. I will be introducing legislation tomorrow, meaning today, to tax the obscene wealth gains billionaires have made during the public health crisis. The senator tweeted a thread explaining his proposal, saying, while over 30 million Americans have seen their $600 a week in unemployment benefits expire, emergency actions taken by the Federal Reserve to prop up the stock market have meant that 467 billionaires saw their wealth go up by over $730 billion since the pandemic began. While Amazon is denying paid sick leave, hazard pay, and personal protective equipment to 450,000 of its workers, Jeff Bezos has increased his wealth by over $70 billion. Amazon shares are up more than 70 percent year to date. You can see this morning down by about $12. Senator Sanders also calls out Walmart's Walton family, Tesla's Elon Musk, and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg for making billions of dollars during the pandemic and then trying to juxtapose that with what they've done for some of their workers along the way. He then said, by taxing 60 percent of the wealth gains made by just 467 billionaires during this pandemic, we could guarantee health care as a right for an entire year. And billionaires would still be able to pocket over $310 billion in gains during the worst downturn since the Great Depression. Guys, this really um, is open season once again. And, and as we're into that political season, as things are heating up there, you can bet there is going to be more rhetoric like this and more actions that are taken. I doubt there's anything that comes of this legislation when he brings it today. But it is kind of echoing a sentiment that, that runs through a major part of the population. But I think there's going to be a big question when the this pandemic's is, over, yeah. how, to ta how, to tax, how to tax people. And if we're on, quote, unquote, war footing, mm -hmm. how we're going to pay for, for all that we've done. We have put one of the greatest sort of uh, corporate insurance policies together, and the beneficiaries of those have been uh, the taxpayer, not the taxpayer, rather, but the shareholders. Um, we've talked a lot about the idea that employees have given up a lot during this period, uh, oftentimes showing up at a, a work, we just saw, showed an image of Jeff Bezos going to work for Amazon, going to work for Walmart, and that's been their contribution to this country during this wartime, if you want to call it a wartime. You know, I, I've always said I've been blessed, and I, I think uh, a lot of us have been blessed during this period to be able to both work from home uh, and, and to be of means, if you will. And, and I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a billionaire, so I can't speak to it, but um, I, I wouldn't argue against higher taxes uh, to, pay for, to pay as a, an offset for some of this as, quote, unquote, a contribution, if you will, to, uh, to the country in the same way that uh, so many uh, frontline workers have contributed uh, during this period. One man's view. Yeah. Look, Th higher taxes this, are coming for this, wealthier this, people. This, I think that's inevitable. Yeah, I, th I think this, that's inevitable this speaks based on to the me amount of really money that of... we're spending. We're still talking about trillions of more dollars coming out, and that is money that is going to be, have to be paid back at some point. Um, but one thing Sanders post in his tweets, his thread, I don't think takes into account is what companies like Walmart have done during this pandemic. They have increased pay. Um, and they've done that. By the way, Doug McMillan's been doing that for years, uh, raising the base pay there, making sure there are additional benefits that come in. Um, I, I see his point. I see his point, And it, it is a valid point that because of the actions of the Federal Reserve, be, by studying things, the wealthiest people have gotten wealthier. And, and that is going to be something that politicians are right. focusing on no matter which way the election goes. They're going to have to find a way to come up to re repay the money that's been spent during this. this. This, to me, goes to the very heart of the issue that we've been talking about since the market rebounded from, from March. And that is this great disconnect in the divide between Wall Street and Main Street. And when Main Street looks at their televisions and they, they turn on CNBC and they see the fact that we're talking about the Nasdaq's at 11,000 and the Dow has recovered in the manner in, in which it has, you still have this incredible divide in this country, this um, you know, horrible income gap and income inequality that the market has been able to surge back while we're having a discussion this morning about Washington not being able to agree on a stimulus package and people whose benefits are, are running out, wondering where their next meals are going to come from. And that's this incredible disconnect. Right. And Bernie Sanders is speaking exactly to the people who say it's absurd that the stock market is where it is when the real economy uh, is, is still in the tank.